Happy Thursday. Thanks for joining me. Hey, I'm so excited to bring you a couple of verses today. As you know, on Thursdays, we take a look at our upcoming gospel reading for the weekend. And this coming weekend, we have some of my very, very favorite words from Jesus. So he's speaking and he says this. This is recorded in Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As I said, one of my very favorite sections in all the Bible, and I think definitely my favorite section in Matthew's gospel. One of the reasons for that, in addition to me just liking it, liking the message, needing to hear the message often, um, I have to tell you, this is probably the section of scripture that I find on my lips the most often over the course of any given year. And the reason for that is simple. It's because it is one of my go-to texts when I am visiting someone who has gone through a really rough time physically. So it might be a text that I share with someone in the hospital room, whether they know what's going on with them or they don't, um, just to hear this wonderful invitation from Jesus to find rest in him. It's also a text that I use when I'm with families gathered around a loved one who they're getting ready to say goodbye to. And one of the reasons I like it so is because the invitation to Jesus to me seems to have pretty easy application, both for the person who is struggling and also for the people who are struggling to help them out, um, to care for them, and to serve them, however way that goes. Here's something I've heard, I don't know, 25 times in my life, and I think it's true. Whenever I hear an invitation from Jesus inside of our reading, I'm reminded of this. I was told years ago, that one of the things that makes Jesus so incredibly different in contrast with other teachers of his age, well, in addition to all the other stuff that we know now about Jesus, that he is both true God, true man, I just mean as people would have experienced him walking around in the first century. One of the things that makes him so incredibly in sharp contrast with others is how invitational he is would have been more standard for famous teachers of his age to be aloof and to have other people trying to prove themselves to that teacher to get in the good graces or to catch the glance of. Instead, Jesus is invitational. We see that right at the get-go early on in the Gospels when he walks along the seaside and calls fishermen to him when he's walking down the road sees a tax collector calls him to him he's invitational you you come to me and that invitation isn't just at the beginning when he's calling disciples to him he continues to offer invitations to people that's one part of what we hear in our reading for today come to me all you who are weary and heavy laden and i'll give you rest Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. You'll find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Just love it. You see, Jesus, he is not that kind of teacher waiting around for you to impress him before he lets you into his entourage. Instead, Jesus is the kind of guy who just shows up into your life and impresses himself upon you. And that is incredibly good news. Today's invitation, as you heard, it's for rest. And that's a good invitation to hear often because life, it can be wearying sometimes. And as you and I know well, God does not promise ease for every step of the journey. Anyone who says so is false. But he does promise rest at the end. And knowing that rest is coming is something that can provide peace into the lives of God's people now. Our rest in the glorious future is assured. It isn't something we have to impress the teacher to earn. 
Instead, it's something that the teacher walks into our lives and impresses upon us. Because Jesus has earned that great rest for you and for me. Cost him dearly, but to us, it's free of charge. So you and I get to walk in his ways and hear his invitations every day of our lives, but we get to know that the glorious future is already given free of charge for us because of the forgiveness we have in him. Let's close a prayer. For our prayer today, I chose one, as always, from the hymnal, but this one is for times of affliction and distress. Good times to hear those words. If I were you, I'd keep these words of Jesus with me, because when you bump into tough moments, be reminded of this glorious invitation again. We pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life, we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As always, great to be with you. Happy Thursday. Look forward to seeing you soon.